Welcome to Cass Shorts. Today we will be discussing what does and does not count as Cass. There are specific requirements to pay attention to because the IB wants to ensure that CAS is treated as its own section of your diploma program. So it is important to ensure that anything used for your course requirements are not also used for CAS. But how do you verify what does qualify as CAS? Before confirming with your CAS coordinator, take some time to think through each aspect of the experience or project you are planning. At CAS Trips, we recommend asking yourself the following series of questions to verify an experience as CAS. First, you should ensure that each activity will be considered as a creative, active, or service experience. Does it fall into more than one category? Either is fine, but it is important that ch you check with your CAS coordinator that your planned activities qualify before beginning the CAS experience. Then, make sure to question if you are going to be actively involved in the activity and able to sincerely participate. Remember, passive pursuits are not CAS experiences. While you may enjoy a visit to the museum or attending a concert, if you aren't the one who is actually doing the creative activity, it won't qualify for CAS. Next up, ask yourself if the planned CAS experience will allow for the development of your personal interests or skills. Topics or activities that interest you are a great way to come up with ideas for your CAS portfolio. This is where you must question if habitual activities qualify for CAS. For instance, regularly scheduled religious worship or family duties like babysitting will not count for CAS. Of course, there are uniquely individual situations, but you first must be able to answer all of these guiding questions, including how this is a novel experience that will lead to personal learning opportunities. It is now time to ensure that your time and energy is adding something positive to the world. Ask yourself what will come from the planned activity and who will be affected. What are the real consequences for you, others, and the environment? An internship that benefits only you as a student or any experience with financial reward are not CAS experiences. Moreover, you should be helping others. Do not expect to fulfill your CAS requirements when your work offers no benefit to people or to a larger project. And remember, activities that cause division among groups in the community are not CAS. You must be able to look ahead and see how your CAS experience or project helps bring a positive change to the world around you. Keep in mind that throughout your 18 months in the CAS program, you must show that you have managed to accomplish all of the seven learning outcomes, some of which will be de demonstrated many times in various activities, but completion of CAS requires evidence of meeting each outcome a minimum of once. Through your reflections, you must be able to look introspectively as well as at the broader picture of your actions. So take note as you will not be able to utilize experiences that you haven't documented clearly. Evidence of the activity and your pre and post activity reflections showcase how you see the learning outcomes and understand the personal growth you are gaining throughout CAS. And finally, you must ask yourself if this planned experience is enjoyable and if you expect it to bring you a sense of fulfillment. A CAS experience should have real consequences and not be simple, repetitive, or tedious. In this regard, household tasks like setting up tables, washing dishes, or mowing the lawn aren't going to cut it as CAS experiences. Neither will office work like filing paperwork or cleaning up someone's space. You must take steps to find or create an experience that you want to initiate, plan, and of course, participate in. So now that you have a clearer picture of what is not CAS, you may also have a better sense of what could be CAS. The options and opportunities are endless, and it is up to you to determine the types of experiences you partake in to fulfill your CAS requirements. If you need more inspiration, CAS Trips is always happy to help you out. We have video examples of other students' previous CAS projects on our YouTube page. And if you are looking for more inspiration, we keep our blog updated with recent updates and examples of CAS experiences year-around. 
For now, we hope you are feeling inspired and we wish you an enjoyable time throughout your cast journey. Mm -hmm.